Hey friends, welcome back to Sandy's Creative Studio. So today I am working on my spring journal. I am going to go ahead and pull out my um, my signature pages, my feature pages, and I wanted to show you the pages I have and um, just turn on the camera so you can follow along as I uh, make a selection because I have some beautiful pages over here I'm going to show you in just a minute. Um, First of all, I wanted to show you the um, the <laughs> the cover. That's what I'm trying to say. So I used a cover and an old book cover. I'm gonna give you the measurement. It is nine by six. So my pages, eight by eleven, is perfect. It fits just right on the inside. Um, just show you some of the pages I have. So I've already measured. So I have some pages here that are about ready to go so I was measuring them and it's just 8 by 11 and you can see it's just the perfect fit I don't even have to cut them down I love it they're ready to go okay so I'm going to set the cover to the side so I can show you some of the lovely pages that I have so first of all I have um Children's Dictionary, I have showed several times, and I thought this is a perfect page for um, a spring journal. It's just different. Wow, all of these are different trees, and they are mostly all fruit trees. Fruit trees, and, well, some are oak and birch and your typical trees. I love it. And then this one has animals on it. I love the cows. This one I might have pulled that one out on accident. It's nice, but I really wanted something with some um, fruit or leaves or something like that. So this was the other page that I pulled out. I like the universe picture too. Okay, so I have some of those. I have some kindergarten writing sheets. I love to add these for journaling pages. A page that I have from one of my journal kits. I can't tell you which kit it is because it was one that was left over. I love it. But the main kit that I used was the Queen Bee um, um, journal kit. It's the main one that I printed out to go in this journal. I really like this journal kit. And I wanted it to be like um, bees and flowers. I love sunflowers, so I love that this one had the sunflowers included. So I'm just going to show you some of the pages from the kits. I love this. I love the bumblebees. I think they're just so cute. I have a couple of different pockets that I thought I would use. I'm not sure how many signatures. I think I, two or three, I'm not sure. We'll see what fits. Um, but these are beautiful napkin uh, pockets. Um, actually, these are the envelopes. So I have envelopes and pockets from Junie Desiree. Love these. I'll be using some of those. I have some purple bags I could use for a pocket also. That's some um, invoice papers. Some more papers from the kit. Bumblebees. I love the bumblebees. I think they're so cute. Okay, I think that's most of the feature pages I have. I have this page. I don't know if I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to use that. I just like to have something on the back. And I can just decorate the back if I use that. I have a couple of 12 by 12 papers. I know there's just not a lot of purple, but this color, like the um, yellow and muted um, beige, um, kind of are the color, uh, colors that I'm going for, and yellows. So I have some um, onion skin dyed paper. This is onion skin. I love it. I love it. I didn't think it would be so dark. I'm loving the colors. So I got one for a couple of journals. 
And I have some turmeric. So I thought the turmeric, turmeric might have died darker. But I love it. It's just perfect in this journal with the yellow I have going on. This is a dyed, just a coffee dyed um, notebook paper that I had. And it, it um, when I did this before, a lot of the lines just faded away. But this one left the blue in it. I love that. Let's see, and I have some coffee dyed papers. So that one might be avocado dyed paper. Um, so I have all kinds of different feature pages. Some I have printed out uh, for um, tags. I'm not using that one right now. Um, so I'm going to do another video on decorating. So I got some really cool tag pages as well. This one, uh, I'm going to cut these out. These are to make a pocket. Um, so this will be your background of the pocket. And then you have like a side pocket and then uh, a tag to put on the inside of the pocket. So it came with a couple of different pockets. So I'm going to put those to the side for now. So these are my my um pages and then i have some um different books this is the private lives of the garden birds i kind of wish it was in color but then again it's nice because it's black and white and i can use it in um different journals so i was hoping that this had more but i love what's in it the blue jay i love that the uh the pictures that it does have and then I just got this uh, today from Amazon wildflowers it reminds me a lot of my herbal book you've probably seen me decorate with that one before so I just love this uh, the yellow purple and these are definitely going in my purple journal when I make one love it okay so I pulled one out and it'll be like a shorter page. Um, so there's my folded pages. I pull out one of my folded pages. Well, anyway, I can't find a folded page right now, but it'll just make a nice uh, smaller page. And I love to do smaller pages. And I pulled out the one that had the yellow in it. Because I'm doing like mostly a yellow theme. See, I showed you this one. I just went through that. Um, and that's a tag. And then I have this book as well. Uh, Junie uh, decorated with um, her journals with this book. And I absolutely love it. Um, Friendship. It's just called Friendship. It has beautiful pictures in it. It has beautiful poems in it. And I love that. I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out now. That'll be a page that I'm going to use. Oh, pages tear out so nice. So I want to see if I can find any other. That's pretty. But I want to look and see if I can find another yellow flower. Or one that has mostly. Oh, how beautiful. That's, that's good to be an iris. My irises are finally blooming. A lot of our flowers are starting to bloom now. An ancient prayer. I like that just um, because of the colors. Oh, I love the poems. I'm going to read this one. The ancient prayer. Give us, Lord, a big old sign, a big old work, a big old fun. Give us, some of this is hard to read. Give us, maybe strength. Not sure what that line actually says. This is really hard to read. Give us this, no, our daily bread and a big of butter. Give us health and our keep to make and a big to spare for poor folks sake. Give us sense for we're some of the some of us drifters, and a heart to feel for all that suffers. Give us God a big of song, 
and a gale and a book to help us along and give us our share, our sorrows, our lessons that we may prove how grief's a blessing. Give us, O oh Lord, a chance to be our goodly, best, brave, wise, and free, our goodly, best for ourselves and others till all men learn to give us brothers. I like that. I'm going to tear that one out. That font is really hard to read. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to use out of this book. I think that's the last page. There we go. That's the last page. I love these pictures. I'll have to um, cut those out and use those as well. Okay, so I'm going to set that book to the side. All right. So I'm going to do eight pages per signature. Eight pages total. So I'm looking at um, a 64-page journal. I, said, I think I'm going to do two, two signatures. Okay, so I know I want one of these. I'm also going to be doing a flip out and or a tip in and a flip out today as well. Let's see. Let me get my B pages. I know that I want one of these. Start with that one. Got that tore out. I'll use that one. So on these, I will have to trim the edges. Let me go ahead and trim around the edges of these. Scissors over here are buried. I'm just going to cut these out real quick. I hope everyone is doing great. I love all of you out there. And if you have a journal you're working on, just you can sit back and craft with me and work on your journal. Decorate yours. Like it's always fun to turn on the video and watch someone or maybe listen to someone's blog while I'm crafting. Put these in the bin. Okay. I love this one. I, I want to use this one. Love the bees. So I know I'm going to use one of those in the other signature. So I'll pull that one out for the other signature. And maybe this one. Okay. So, let's see how many pages that gives me, and see what other pages I'll need. Two, three, four, five. So I'm going to take, I think, well, at least two. Well, now I want to do a flip in and a flip out on each in each um, signature. So I think I will use this. This, I think, is going to need to be cut down. And I have to take it and just line it up. Because I can never cut a straight line to save my life. So I'm just going to line it up. And cut around it. So it's like a little bit off the edge, the bottom and the edge. So, like I said, I'm going to pick out the pages today and do another video for the decorating. So then if you're working on a signature, if you'd like, you know, work on your signatures. Well, I'm working on selecting my pages as well. And then 
the next video will be decorating the journal. Okay, I also want a pocket. Okay. And let's see. I want to, I'm going to set these aside. Maybe these over here for the other signature. Maybe these over to the left because I am going to work on, let's see which I come to first, a tip on, tip out or a fold out. Okay. This was the extra page. Okay. So this one, I want a tip out. So I got my turmeric dyed paper and a piece of the onion dyed paper. And I absolutely love the way this one turned out. Love the, the pattern in it. I never thought to get a pattern. And I don't know if it, maybe it was because of the, the, the sheet that I used, the baking sheet. It sure turned out nice. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just glue it along here. You know, for the longest time, I didn't know how people uh, did a, um, a fold out when I was just beginning. But I'm so glad that I found out and stuck with it. So I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Probably have to open it up a bit with a pin. Yeah, when I was a newbie, I didn't know how they made all these beautiful flip outs, flip ins. But I really love them. I love that it gives a little bit more interest to the journal. It makes it quite beautiful. I love to have all kinds of pockets and even like hidden pockets, surprise pockets, lace pockets love pockets okay so turn the glue that'll be perfect okay line her up And I like using that because it gives me a second to line it up. Let me wipe my hands and find my, actually I need to find my paper towels. I was going to say, let me find my phone folder and smooth it out a little bit. Phone folder, there it is. I want it to have a nice crisp edge and I also want to seal it make sure that the pages adhere so you know barn like yeah like varnishing Ooh, to decorate that page Well, I hate that that happens, but I will be decorating it. So. so this is as honest as it gets. I laid that down in the glue by mistake, so I know exactly what I'm going to do. So this is learning as we go, learning together. Um, you know, so I'm going to show you how I can fix this. I have a great idea. Wonder. I really wish I could find some more of these ruffles. I had some, and I might have used them all, but that's, that may be just my leftover. And if I don't have more ruffles, I can make some or do something else. Let's see. I have some goodies that I can look through over here to the left. My cutouts for my decorations. Oh, look, that would be perfect. So I think I'm going to put that there. 
And that covers that. Now I need to put something there to cover it up. Let me see what kind of washi I have. You know, it is nice when things don't go exactly as planned. That way you can get an idea of how you can fix things as well. And just because I have a YouTube channel doesn't mean I don't mess up. So, let's see. Maybe I can do a little bit of collage down the, um, the piece. I'm just pulling out a couple of pieces of paper. Seeing what else I have over here in my bucket of scraps, basket of scraps. Oh, I love this paper. Oops, I dropped it. Here it is. Oh, that is an envelope. That would go nice in there as well. I'm going to put it with my stuff to possibly use. I have a stack of papers here that I could possibly use. All right, looking too much scraps. I need some papers. There we go. Now, a handful of my scrap papers. Okay. my decorative edge scissors. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Want some pink. See, I just want the pink. And then this will make something pretty out of out of a mistake, out of a um, accident. But like Bob Ross says, there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. And that's what it is. It's a happy accident. Love this paper. And I'll have some more of that to use another time. Let's see. There we go. I like that. Okay, put pieces over here for using another time. Now I think I'm going to use some some of my inks. And then something else I'd like to do is maybe some um, stenciling or some stamping. I have some um, stamps that I just got from Amazon as well. Show you what I got. 
I got them especially for this journal. There's a bee and some flowers, hive, and there's some flowers. And that one says be happy. So I'll be using those. Just not sure if I want to do a stencil or stamps. I might come back to it after I do my other. Um, this is a flip out, so I'm going to do a tip in. And I love to watch Amity Bloom. Uh, Nazi does some really nice flip outs and tip ins. Ooh, that one's already starting to stick. Let me see. Let me make sure. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm going to make sure that it'll fold. I think I'm going to label this video when mistakes happen. <laughs> When mistakes go wrong, or when journaling goes wrong, <laughs> gone in 30 seconds. Love that show. Okay. Put that piece there. Do I want to turn it? I turn it this way. Like this. Okay. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Yeah, I definitely had to fix this piece because, or this page, because I really wanted to include a tip out and a flip, a tip in and a flip out. Um, and I just love this paper. Let's see how that one goes next. And when I'm doing a big project, big collage project, I like to take a picture of it. Because I like to lay it out, I lay it out and audition it. And then when I find something I like, I'm going to take a picture of it so I remember how I liked it. And then I can take everything back off of the page without forgetting where it goes. Because I have been making some master boards. Make some journals out of some collage master boards. Let's see, I want to tear that. Give it a. I like the um, unfinished edge. The torn edge look. Okay. There we go. I like that. That is really cute. Oh, I gotta glue this one down. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna make sure that it's uh, stuck very well. I like that. So that turned out pretty cool after all. So then this will fold in. And there we have a really nice flip out. Pretty cool. And maybe I'll put something else on here. Like maybe a little piece of, um, I wish I had like a little bow. Maybe I can find a little tiny bow. But for now, that is my fold out. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the tip in. So that will be everything for my first signature. Oops, these are scraps. This is my scrap box. And that's my scrap box for another day. So let's see. I believe we have all the pages we need. My fold out um, pocket. Seven and eight. So we got all the 
pages for the first signature. I'm going to go ahead and do the pages for the second signature now. Oh, I want to show you the tipping that I wanted to do. So I thought this was a neat idea. I got this from um, a, a swap, and I just think she's absolutely beautiful, and I want to add her. I love her. Just everything about her. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to uh, glue it on on this side. Maybe if I could find some more of that ribbon or maybe just put this sideways up here even. Let's see. Let me find my scissors. Scissors like to disappear on me for sure. There they are. Underneath everything. Snip that off. And I still might just do that. Oh, I want to get rid of that piece too. Sometimes I like loose threads and sometimes I don't. In this instance, I don't. I think that looks good. I might just have that right there. But I want to even that up. There we go. That is cool. Okay, I am going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue again. So with this one, I am just going to decorate the card. I'm not even going to um, distress it. I like it as it is. Okay. Now I will decorate that side as well because I didn't realize it was going to wrinkle. Maybe use like some double sided glue. I can use that. And something else. I will come back to the that piece, that side. Okay, so I want to show you what I had planned for this one. Let's see, I think I just used the piece I was going to use. All right, I'm still thinking about how I was going to do this. I think I'm going to use this here. What else have I got? See, no, I think I was maybe here. As you can see, I'm just having um, a play and audition it um, to see how I like it. And I know I wanted this. And I need something for the background. Let me get some of my background papers from over here. I could use this for a background paper. I want it to go over the edge, so I'm just going to fold it where I want it to come over to on this side and trim that off. Folding it over and just cutting it a lot quicker than a lot quicker than measuring. So this one would be okay to use the art glitter glue. Let 
Now I'm going to glue this down as well. See, do I want something on the back? Mm, do I want a piece of lace there? Look through my lace. I got my bag of lace that I just organized. Organized my smaller pieces of lace from my bigger pieces of lace. Let's see. Let's see if I want that. I said just having a play. So that's too short. Let me see if I can have a bigger piece of lace I can put down here. I'm still looking at if I can find something else that I like or... Well, that is the wrong color. I think I'm just going to... Um, ink it instead. Okay, sorry about the interruption. I hope you guys are enjoying this process. I love this journal. I love the pages and I hope you guys too. So um, I hope you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more videos to come so you can check out the next in the series. Thanks and bye for now.